Welcome back to Jesus Calling for August 26th. Trust me in the middle of your messy day. Well, I am having a messy day today. How about you? Let's look at John 16:33 and also Psalm 105 verse 4 for some encouragement. John 16:33, I know this one by memory. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. He's not saying you might have trouble, but you will have trouble. But then he says, take heart. I have overcome the world. Isn't that so encouraging? And then Psalm 105 verse 4 says, Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Trust me in the midst of your messy day. We all have those. Your inner calm, your peace in my presence, need not be shaken by what is going on around you. Though you live in this temporal world, your innermost being is rooted and grounded in eternity. When you start to feel stressed, detach yourself from the disturbances around you. Instead of desperately striving to maintain order and control in your little world, relax and remember that circumstances cannot touch my peace. Seek my face and I will share my mind with you opening your eyes to see things from my perspective. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. The peace I give is sufficient for you. I just love that verse. And I love the fact that he says we will have trouble, right? He's not promising that, oh, when you become a Christian, you're going to have this wonderful life and everything is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No, that is not what Jesus is saying. He says, in this world, you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. And I just remember when I'm in the middle of a hard time, I guess I always tell myself, guess what? I know the end of my story. Jesus wins. That's the end of my story and the end of your story and the end of the story of everyone who believes. Jesus has already won. And in the end, we're going to die and go to heaven. So you know what? Everything that happens on this earth, it may be painful. And I know there are some horrible, horrible, painful things people are going through and some things I have gone through. But take heart. In the end, we win. And all of this is just going to be a faint memory. When we die and we go up to heaven and we're praising God every day, you're not going to remember any of this horrible stuff down here. So remember that. He says, we will have trouble, but take heart. He has overcome the world. So lift up your messy day to him, my friends. He's waiting to take it. And he will take it and give you peace in your heart. I hope you remember that today. And remember how important you are to everyone around you and how much you matter. And go share this peace with someone else because I know there are a lot of people in this world who need his peace. Have a great day sharing his peace and I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website NancyJoyToYou.com And I hope you go out and shine for him today. See you tomorrow.